welcome back to the channel. If you're new here and you don't know who I am, my name is Michael Pini. I own Brooklyn Pasta Lab along with my wife Alyssa, and we make fresh pasta kits and we ship them all over the country nationwide. And if you want to learn more about us, you can check out our website, brooklynpastalab.com. So I just mixed some of this focaccia dough. I'm gonna let this sit for a couple hours. Now I'm gonna set up this pasta extruder and we have these trays over here that will uh, basically catch the pasta and, and it's perforated so there's holes in the tray so, so air flows well and can dry out the pasta. So this is the final dough here. It's super dry and you want it to be dry and you want to have these little grains of dough basically. And what happens is as the extruder is working it pushes it through the die and then with that pressure it forms the shape and with the proper amount of moisture in the dough that's how you'll get the right amount of chew in the final pasta shape and it won't stick together when it extrudes. So now I'm just going to add this and let the machine work it a little bit more as well. Kind of break up the large chunks of dough. So everything is homogenous, and nice and small granules. I just swapped out the die. I put one die in there first, just to keep this whole entire machine like together. And then the die that I'm going to use, I just keep it in warm water until, I'm, until the dough is ready to, to extrude. So now I have that on, and now we'll, now we'll extrude it. So it just takes a bit for this for this die to warm up. So right now, obviously, th these aren't good. So I'm just gonna let it keep uh, running until until the pasta looks looks the way it's supposed to, with the right texture on the outside. All right, so now it looks so now it looks it looks good. So now that it's all warmed up the dye, now you can see that there's a little bit of this rough texture on the outside and that, that's what we're looking for. So, so now I can let the machine run and I'll show you a little trick I do. So instead of letting the machine just run like that and I have to stand there the whole time for a couple hours cutting, cutting, cutting the pasta, basically I just take the pasta and let it fall into a plastic bag and basically what that does is it's going to keep pasta from drying out and we're going to have one long long strand of bucatini and then what i'll do is after it's all extruded i take it and i put it on the table line it all up and then i cut it into the perfect size so everything is the same size and i didn't have to stand there for hours so check it out this is how i do it so i have this food safe bag over here and So I basically just cover it like that and this way it doesn't dry out and we'll have one long strand and then afterwards I'll take it, lay it on the cutting board and then I'll cut it. Check this out. Now I have this running for a little bit. Now I have all this pasta here. It's pliable, it's not, it's not too dry, it has the right texture on the outside. I can just walk away from it and I can do other things while this extrudes and every 10 or so minutes I'll have to just come back and, and check on it but it's way better than just standing there all day cutting 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 okay so now I have this bucatini here and now I'm going to cut it into the right size we need And doing it that way saves so much time. And one thing you just need to be careful about when doing this, you just don't want it to be exposed to the air for so long before you cut it because then uh, it will dry out and basically, you know, crack and, and fall apart. 
All right, so I'm gonna keep on extruding this bucatini and I uh, hope you learned a little bit about extruding and I uh, hope you use this little trick when you're extruding your next batch of pasta. And don't forget to check out our website, brooklynpastalab.com. We ship nationwide Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Like, subscribe, and share, and uh, see you next time.